welcome back in today's session we are discussing the application and types of numerical control numerical control is defined as a method of automatically operating a manufacturing machine based on a code of letters numbers and special characters and the numerical data required to produce a part is provided to a machine in the form of a program and uh, commonly known as part program or a cnc program the program is uh, translated into appropriate electric signals for input to motors that run the machine the concept was first uh, introduced in 1947 and uh, uh, in 1949 the us air force teamed up with the uh, the famous MIT Massachusetts Institute of Technology to develop a programmable building machine. And in 1952, Cincinnati uh, has succeeded uh, to demonstrate a building machine which is working on this kind of operation uh, that is control system. And the term numerical control uh, has originated from there. So the origination of the numerical control is marked as 1952. Here we are discussing about the NC coordinate system and uh, we have uh, commonly used two types of NC coordinate system. One is applicable to milling machines and uh, that is while machining flat and prismatic parts. So in milling machine uh, we have got basically three axes and uh, the first axis is the spindle axis. So this one is the spindle axis, spindle is rotating, it's a vertical milling machine. So it is rotating like this. So the axis is vertical axis that is known as z-axis. And uh, another axis is x-axis that is for the table movement. Table movement uh, uh, is uh, on our right or left of the operator. So that is x-axis. This is our second axis. And uh, uh, another table movement which is uh, towards or away from the operator because the operator is standing uh, in this location. So it is either towards the operator or away from the operator. So that axis is the y axis. And again, uh, we have got sign conversions because the upward movement is plus is a axis is a direction and downward movement is minus is a direction. Uh, likewise, in x axis, uh, the rightward movement is positive uh, plus x axis and uh, the left side movement, leftward movement is the negative x axis. And uh, in Y, uh, the movement away from the operator is marked as plus Y and towards the operator is marked as minus Y. So that is about the axis and we can have uh, more axis. So that is uh, another rotational axis is up there. So rotational axis up there. Then uh, the rotation about the X axis is marked as A axis and the clockwise is marked as uh, the uh, positive and the counter will be the negative. Then uh, the rotation about y axis is uh, b axis and rotation about z axis is uh, c axis. But uh, keep in mind that uh, the rotation of the spindle is not considered as an axis. The rotation of uh, workpiece in z axis is considered as the uh, c axis. And the second part is that. Uh, for turning operations, that is the rotational parts, uh, we have got only two axes, that is x axis and z axis. So, uh, the, the axis on, uh, in which workpiece is rotated is the z axis, and uh, the tool feed movement axis is the x axis, that is the depth of cut. Uh, we are giving the depth of cut in x axis, and the sign conversion is like that. Uh, if we, uh, uh, if this is the chuck side, it is a chuck, okay, which is holding the workpiece and it is rotating. Suppose this one is a vertical lathe, okay, so it is rotating like this, it is rotating like this, and uh, uh, away from the chuck, it is plus is an axis, and towards chuck, it is minus is an axis, and also. When the tool is moved uh, away from the center of the workpiece, it is plus x axis. And uh, if, if, it, if we are moving the tool towards the center of the workpiece, it is minus x axis. 
So there is a sign conversion uh, used uh, in these operations and this is the NC coordinate system. Now we are discussing about the types of NC systems. So types of NC systems is primarily classified on three uh, based on the level of control. Level of control of the work or the tool. So one is point to point, second one is straight cut and three is contouring and the point to point has got the uh, minimum level of control or the least level of control and uh, contouring has got the highest level of control. In point to point control system, uh, the tool moves to a point on the part and execute an operation at that point only. The tool is not in continuous contact with the part while it is moving. That means uh, when moving from one post to position to position, there is no machine. It is only used for positioning and machining happens at a point only and only uh, tool is moving downwards just like in uh, drilling, uh, reaming, punching, boring and tapping operations. While in straight cut control systems, which are capable of moving the tool parallel to one of the major axes at a controlled rate suitable for machining and uh, it is possible to move the tool at a time at a particular direction only either in x axis direction or in y axis direction and combined movement is not possible so that we can't uh, use this control system for moving the tool in a uh, angular direction. So this angular direction is not possible because that involves a combined x and y direction movement that is not possible. Either we can have an x direction movement at a time or a y direction movement at a time. So this uh, control system is used for cutting uh, straight uh, parts, straight, uh, straight uh, sides either parallel to y axis or x axis and the last one is a continuous path system this one is otherwise known as contouring system so it involves the simultaneous motion control of two or more axes so in this case it is possible to move the tool simultaneously in either in two directions or in three directions or three axes uh, so first figure in this first figure we can tell that it is a simultaneous if, if you wanted to machine a shape like this this is a counter so we wanted to machine a counter like this it involves simultaneous movements in x axis y axis and z axis so three axes are involved and uh, here uh, we can see that this is a curve so this curve is actually uh, made by simultaneous movement in x and y axis so these simultaneous movements of the axis, two or more axes is possible in continuous or uh, contouring system. Out of the three systems, the point to point and straight cut systems are uh, possible with the, the older uh, punched card type of NC machines. But the continuous path system is possible only with the CNC controls, that is computer numerical controls, because this one has got the highest level of control. Thank you for watching.